So now, after all that, I think you're finally ready, you're mature enough to learn the whole truth about how four statements actually work. You've been using them all along, but you may not have known the inner details, the gory truth about what's inside a four statement. Now, when I say for x in items, print x, you probably have a model that looks something like this. Assuming items is a, a list or a tuple or a string, you think of this code probably as something like i equals zero, while i is less than the length of the items, x equals items at i, and then print x. And that's a good model as long as uh, items is one of these sequence types like lists. But items can also be other things as we've seen. It can be a, a generator ex expression, for example. Overall, Python calls the thing that can be iterated over in a for loop an iterable. And so uh, strings and lists are examples of iterables, and so are our generators. And what actually happens when we implement this piece of code, it's as if we had written this code. So first we take the items and we make an iterator from them by calling the built-in function iter, and I'm going to call that it. And then we're going to have a while loop that goes forever. It's uh, loop control says uh, while true. We're going to assign x to be the next item off of the iterator, then do whatever was in the body of the uh, for loop, in this case, print x. So we're going to keep on doing this sequence as long as uh, we can get an x value. But when next stops, then we'll have an exception, which is a stop iteration exception, and we don't need to do anything more. We're done. And so that's what a for loop really means in Python. We take the items, we create an iterator over them, we call that iterator until we're done, and then we pass through to the next statement. We're finally ready to define this C, this uh, counting function. What it does is it takes a sequence, it says, uh, this is the first time I've been called, so I'm going to initialize my starts to one, and then I'm gonna enter into a loop, and this is, means that C is a generator function. The generator function will be returned, and as part of the for protocol, we'll call that generator function each time we want the next item in the sequence. And each time we do that, our count of items will be incremented. When we're done, when the for loop doesn't want anymore, we'll stop incrementing. And so we don't necessarily go through every item in the sequence. We'll just have just the right number of counts per item. And so this will give us the right number of starts and the right number of items. We can do that because we control the time of execution because this is a generator function and not a regular function.